What's up guys, by the way, this is Mark and welcome to Happy TV. And today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do basics on breeding show type guppy fish. But before we start, don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. And make sure to watch this video till the end for you not to miss every single details, okay? So let's begin. The number of strains that you can keep is determined by your tank space though you can maintain a strain with just a few tanks it takes 8 to 10 tanks to properly keep a strain and don't take home more strains that you can handle as even the experienced breeders fall into this trap it is best to start with one good strain and get experience from it and that's the time for you to you to expand and enjoy yourself the fish you should be looking to purchase should be young and healthy and about two to three months of age because fish at this age ship better and acclimate easier than mature fish when you buy a trio or two females in one male you can establish two parallel lines keep the young from each female separated with this young or half brothers and sisters after a few generations there will be sufficient difference between the two lines so that you can cross two lines to keep your strain strong so every guppy breeder needs to learn how to pick fish in order to breed and raise good fish leaving all the fish together to breed causes rapid deterioration of the strain the smaller more active males impregnate the females first so you need to have a juby type of male because juby type of male is the one who who eagerly breed your female and they will if and they will impregnate first your females so maximum growth also requires you to maintain a proper feeding schedule and whatever tank maintenance that is necessary the age of for picking breeders or show guppies will depend on the rate of maturity of the particular strain that you are working with some strains grow quicker than the others for example let's say for example like reds greens and blues they grow rapidly and can be selected two to two and a half months in the other hand albinos yellows and pastel colored guppies will require that you wait for three to four months since they mature very slowly so I hope you get that so selecting is easy once you know your strain and of course I'm gonna give you four easy steps that you can use to select males first step pick out the largest fish of the drop make sure they do the sport thick quadal pinnacles so they can carry their large tails as what you can see on the picture and secondly look for a wide triangular quadal shape by now dorsal should have signs of elongations parallelogram shape with smooth edges because um, guppy show judges or they are judging on how triangular how wide your male quadal is and of course their dorsal and that's how they take points from your guppy third quadal and dorsal should match in color and pattern of course their quadal and dorsal should match in their pattern and even in color so number four eliminate any fish with curved spines flat heads or which did not show good intense color just like on the picture standard so you can see the good one and the flat the corb spines yeah you should eliminate those things all right just just pick the good one and by eliminating a fish in each of these steps you will end up the best fish for breeders and for show sure, remember don't crowd your tank one fish per gallon only so you need to so you need to follow that all right so let's go to females females should be selected and breed at two to four months of age the steps used to pick females are first pick the largest of the drop just like male with the thickest quadal pinnacle yeah that's so important because females of this type 
tend to throw the best show males and secondly look for the largest and widest quadals possible with dorsal to match of course and uh, thirdly if some show the desired color use them for breeding for um, for a better result and also there are some secrets that probably I know that children really know these things uh, first is feedings of baby brine shrimp or cultured clean live dapia each day are 10 times better than one feeding and also just provide more than you need for your for your guppy fish main meal don't forget to rinse them before you feed feed only to growing fish okay newly hatched baby brine shrimp or your cultured dapia is the number one food that you can give to your fish with your with the other live foods of course you need to clean them as what i've said earlier um, there's no question that there are a lot of more exotic blends and mixes with expensive ingredients but the said live foods as well the, the the live foods that i've said earlier are the most excellent quality for feeding four to six feeding each day should give your fish the size that you want for the guppy shell and don't hold back on portions so what if there's a live brand swimming or dapia swimming in your or dapia swimming in your tank while you are at way or at work try to feed more than you think of the fish will eat and of course as long as the fish are healthy there's no problem with it don't put little fish in big tanks how do you expect them to grow if they cannot find their food <laughs> of course as what i've said earlier um, one gallon of water per guppy fish is enough and of course look for compatible lines or strain for outcrosses yeah outcross breeding i uh, will discuss that later pass your quality line to other members in your club to ensure having an extra line on maintaining purposes we call it here in the philippines as the sibut gang <laughs> those breeder hobbyists that are like to catch their club mates or group mates guppy fish <laughs> yeah just let them do that because in the future you will need them and of course that's the time for you to to ask them for a breeder or a pair for outcross purposes <laughs> all right so there are three major techniques are used when breeding guppies so i know that some of you here know already about it so first is inbreeding inbreeding is mating close relatives such as brother to sister mother to son father to daughter just like on the diagram and also line breeding Breeding two separate lines branching from the original trio with the eventual back crossing or the breeding of distant relatives such as half siblings, cousins to cousins, yeah, just like on the diagram. And outcrossing. Outcrossing is a mating to different pure strains which are compatible. This could mean fish of the same color that obtained from two different breeders or should I say just like on the picture you already have the mosaic strain on your line and then you are in same family of course uh, you are asking your friend to give you a breeder for an outcross with the same mosaic family to have a strong um, line to have the strong guppy fish line and hopefully you got that and the following images are some of the major guide of IFGA, International Fancy Guppy Association. And of course, I want I just want to thank them for providing or for giving us this uh, these guidelines because this is the standard criteria and points for guppy shows on judging. So first is body color. and body condition body shape quadal color and condition
quadal shape quadal degree of angle dorsal color dorsal color and condition delta tail sword tail female body female deportment and symmetry female caudal shape female caudal size female dorsal color and condition female dorsal shape and size next is IKGH and PGC the International Congress for Guppy Hybriding and Polish Guppy Club I also want to thank them for providing us um, these guidelines this information on the standards points of judging for a short tail sword tail and long tail lastly the basic total points diagram is what you can see in the diagram And that's it thank you so much guys for watching this video I'm hoping that this beginners guide would help you to to get started on the right foot and are happy because racing and showing up is is so fun and very addicting and will provide you pleasures and challenges even failures but when you know how to master it it will become a most rewarding hobby and by the way I just want to shout out our fellow certified hobbyist here Ed Lawrence Rolar Sandigan, Alvin Montecalvo, Tabs and Falters, John Jacob Russell, Ruel Peralta, Eric Malbias, 
Jim Mamarel, Fish Lover 2, and to all our fellow hobbyists who supported our channel, thank you guys, thank you, thank you very much. And please be safe, guys. And to those who are new here, please like our video and consider subscribing for you not to miss out our future videos like this one. And see you next time, guys. May God bless us all. Bye bye.